Hello and welcome back to The X-Ring. I have a really exciting episode for you today, and that is on a BNT, basically a sniper rifle. This is probably the quietest rifle you will ever hear, even quieter than a 22 long rifle, and it was specifically designed for law enforcement and military for 165 yards and in, or about 150 meters. And I think you guys are gonna be impressed with this. Guys, this will all fit in a little tiny backpack. And if you guys know Bruiser and Tomet or the BNT, this is the 300 SPR. This is very, very expensive. It is about $5,000 for the setup. And what makes it so unique is, number one, this is gonna be a two-tack stamp setup again, just like that CZ, but this does have a folding stock, so it is an SBR. It is chambered in 300 Whisper or 300 Blackout or 300 AAC, whatever you'd like to call it. The only thing I've removed on this is the thread protector. You have a set of threads here on the end as well as here, and you have this really super lightweight aluminum. This whole setup only weighs a couple pounds, guys. It is extremely light. It almost feels like a little kid's toy, but this is an over-the-barrel suppressor that threads on both sets of threads it does have an o-ring to seal out any gas and this is an aluminum baffled suppressor this is designed for supersonic as well as subsonic ammunition you guys can see i mean just holding this thing out with two fingers i mean there's there's no weight to it it is a bolt action rifle that uses 300 blackout lancer magazines those do come from the factory that way and you have a three lug bolt. Now this three lug bolt is pretty unique in that you'll see the face of it there is actually convex. You'll see it's not a flat face. It is a three lug, 90 degree, and you just basically insert it. And guys, I've never heard of anything Swiss not being just perfect. I mean, guys, they even took the detail to time this so that you can read all the serial numbers and everything on it. Um, it is just a really super lightweight platform. What we have on top is this is a Bobro mount. Some people call it by other names. Uh, this is a Trijicon 10 mile, and basically I'm just going to attach this on here. Locked, she is good to go. Now, this package actually comes with everything except the optic. It actually comes with a set of rings. It actually comes with their lightweight BNT polymer bipod, but you have to look at what the application is for this unit. Uh, this is going to be for close sniper engagements, guaranteed one minute of angle and it is recommended that you use subsonic because that's what you're getting it for. You're not gonna be able to tell where the shot's coming from. They claim it's quieter than a 22 long rifle suppressed, and I believe it. It's also about the same as an air rifle, although I have heard some loud air rifles. So I just put it all together while we were talking. You can actually assemble this in less than a minute very, very easily. I think you guys are gonna be extremely impressed when you hear this being shot or don't hear it being shot because it's extremely quiet. It's very impressive. For today's test, what we'll be shooting is just some cellular and bellow, uh, 200 grain. Uh, it says tactical ammunition, but it's subsonic. It's just a full metal jacket. Um, we're just trying to put one on the noggin of that target. So let's go ahead and do it. And by the way, today's video is sponsored by Gators. If you guys haven't checked out Gators, they are made in the USA. And if you put X-Ring in the coupon code on checkout on the Gators website, it will give you 15% off and every purchase does help the channel. So I do appreciate you guys. Let's go ahead and send some down range. We're gonna put one on the head here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the woods up here somewhere. So the role of a police sniper is to gather intelligence uh, recon, basically radio back when things are good, bad, indifferent. They're usually your eyes on in a bad situation or before you actually um, do a hit on a house or serve a warrant or something like that, something that might be high risk. So they're going to be your eyes on. Their job is to, you know, basically gilly up, get in close so where they can be the eyes on and if something goes bad, they can take care of business. We're gonna say things went really south and this is the bad guy here. So I've got a camera set up. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna go up in the woods up there. We're gonna get set up and I'm not gonna put on a ghillie suit or anything like that, nothing, no nonsense. And I'm just gonna take some shots at this and we'll do it somewhere around 80 yards or so. We'll see how effective this 300 blackout is. And I wanna see if you guys can actually hear anything from my perspective over there. 
So we'll see what, the, I'm trying to decide if I want to put the camera back here, if I want to put it up there. Uh, either way, I think this will be really cool, so stay tuned. All right, in the real world scenario, you're going to be inserted under the cover of darkness. You're going to get in a position. This is not the position you would be in off of a stairwell. You're probably going to be on the ground, and you're going to be all gillied up. You're going to have everything you need, maybe 10 to 14 hours beforehand. That way you're the eyes on. But from this position, I have a ton of coverage from the foliage. I can actually shoot through the brush without hitting any of the brush. But let's say things went south and I needed to take a headshot. I'm going to go somewhere in the tee box and say now. And that's going to be a pretty good shot. Nobody's going to see anything. Nobody's going to hear anything. Super quiet. Let's say we need to hit the orange off to the side. Now to let you hear how quiet this thing is, I'm gonna shoot this into the dirt. I do have the lapel mic on. So this is gonna be in the dirt off to the side. This is an intentional miss. It does truly sound like an air rifle. Let's go ahead and put one in the center chest. That's it. That's all she wrote. So this rifle does have an application for uses like that. It is incredibly deadly, incredibly quiet. And the thing is, is this is super, super lightweight. I wouldn't want to take any shots beyond about 200 yards because you're going to start having a lot of drop and a lot of wind uh, where it's pushing that bullet. But let's see if we can get some rounds on target at like 135 or even 100 yards with the same ammunition. So I think this will be pretty cool just to show you some perspective, but I've actually placed the camera directly where the bad guy is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top. I'll get in that same position I was in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lapel mic and I am just going to clip it onto this camera. That way you'll actually hear what it sounds like downrange. I'm just going to pass the bullet off to the right side of the camera into the dirt. See what you see, see what you hear. Here we go. Now you can see how effective something like this really is. And by the way, that was that second standing headshot right there in the center. So you can see it's got two stacked. Let's go do this at a height. So I'm going to get myself in a crazy awkward position here. Uh, we're going to pretend this is cover. I'm going to get myself a little funky and sideways. And we're going to pretend that we've got to take this shot at 100 yards. There you go, that's 100 yards without any issues. Since we're here, we'll go ahead and try to sling one at 135. Let's see if I can get my elbow in a little more comfortable position. That's it, 135. Crazy quiet, crazy effective. All right, so the effective range of this rifle is advertised as 150 meters. We have a target at a little over 200 yards. It is a five inch by five inch steel. Based on my calculations, that's gonna be about a six and a half mil hold with a little bit of wind here. Impact. Guys, the report is so much louder than the actual rifle itself. It's actually kind of crazy. Uh, let's do that again. I'm gonna put the camera here so you guys can see it. We'll try to do this uh, just one take straight through. Guys, if you look down range, that far left box, all the way at the left, there is a little tiny, tiny man steel to the right of that box. You guys see that? Uh, what I'm aiming at is the base of that because that measures at about five by five. Let me try to get this in for you. Yeah, about right in there. So you guys should be able to see that with my finger. It is going to be right there at that tip. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and send one down range. Let's see if we can hit the bottom of that square. Impact. Yeah, this is thing, this thing is really awesome, guys. I think I have another round. Now that man steel is only about four inches wide. Let's go ahead and try to get an impact on the actual body itself. See if we can flip it down. That's it. All right, I hope you enjoyed that review of the BNT 300 SPR made in Switzerland. Guys, you really do get what you pay for. And uh, back when I used to do it, it would have been actually cool to have something like this, something this lightweight um, that honestly, you don't even know you have it almost. It is so compact, it'll fit in a small backpack. And I'm very, very impressed with it. I had a really good time doing this video. I'm out here by myself. It's been very, very busy. I know I've been promising you guys some good products. I do have an APC-9K machine gun that uh, we're gonna get done. And then also I have a Mark 22 that I was able, able to finally get. And it is the full deployment kit. Um, so I think you guys that do the long range would really enjoy that. But this definitely has its place. It's not cheap, but good things usually aren't. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If I've earned your subscription, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll help me go a long ways with the channel and hopefully uh, help the logarithm logarithms help the algorithms to 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 make the channel more popular hope you guys enjoyed it have a great one